having a big sister, such as Morgan, was never really the easiest thing in the world because <laughs> she set the bar very high. She's always, as Sam said, just effortlessly kind, so caring, and you're so positive. I've honestly never seen Morgan so happy or laugh as much as she does when she's around Dan. And I love Dan for my sister because he loves and understands all of your wonderful qualities, even your occasional tardiness he finds cute. <laughs> Morgan, I don't think those two little girls staying up way past their bedtime could have ever dreamed for a better man for you than Dan. And they would be in awe of the beautiful, wonderful woman you've become. Educator, it's important that if you're going to be involved with something, it's good to have a lesson plan. A dear friend of mine who married for 70 years, and I knew him for most of those, passed away. But before he passed away, he shared with us a prayer that he has. And these are feelings that I hope that you follow and all of you who are married consider that you can say these things someday. We like each other, we do things for each other, and we love each other. They are simple words, they were heartfelt, and prove as they followed the lesson plan. Daniel, do you take Morgan to be your wife and promise to love, honor, and cherish her always and forever? If so, please say, I do. And Morgan? Do you take Daniel to be your husband and promise to love, honor, and cherish him always and forever? If so, please say, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and my honor to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel and Morgan Warner. basically at the age of 15 playing volleyball for a Lake Country team. At that point, we went on to compete against each other in high school. We reconnected at Whitewater and ended up living together a junior year and we were neighbors senior year. We lived downtown above the bars, which is where Dan and I learned that when alcohol is involved and we are together, dumb decisions become pretty smart to us. Whether it be stealing a street sign at four in the morning or jumping in a frigid lake after bar close. Morgan, you are one of the nicest people I've ever met. And the only time I've ever seen you mad is when one of these dumb decisions was made with Dan and I. Yeah, 